Hi, this is Kelly Nightlinger, and today I'm with Magnus Johnson, and he's going to explain about a project he and his colleagues believe in deeply, Project Elderheart. Magnus, can you tell us about your project? So, 22 American veterans commit suicide every day, and Elderheart has taken on some of the responsibility to create large public art pieces to inform, remind, and make a permanent testimony to the sacrifice of American veterans. The first project we have is in Nashville, Indiana, which is going to be a 20-foot tall steel sculpture to create social impact by the QR code on the website for all these people that come through and see these art installations are going to be able to follow through on the websites and QR codes and go to the fact of what's happening with American veterans of the VA backlog, the misdiagnosis, 22 veteran suicides, and Elder Hart, myself, Tom Spooner, and other members of American Veterans and Special Forces are taking these projects to create social impact and set the priorities for what needs to be in this country. And we think one of those priorities needs to be our American veterans. Definitely. Thank you so much. Where would people be able to find out more about Project Elder Heart? We have uh, Facebook, Elder Heart, and then www.elderheart.org. That's our website, and that gives an information of uh, our retreats we're building, our public art projects, and the ideas and principles we have. And you believe that this project is going to expound from here and other places will be part of Project Elder Heart as, as you progress? Well, one of the feelings we have is that some of the reason for such a high suicide rate is that warriors don't share their story. And we wanted to be able to share our story every day for the next 50 years with every city we put an art piece in. So we believe that veterans willing to help themselves and help us in these projects and spread this message is going to actually create relief from the guilt and the shame of experiencing combat and then having those feelings and thoughts just for yourself. We believe that to share that story with the rest of the population is actually going to have a healing effect. I'm sure it will. It's a great project and you guys have a great start and I think it's going to snowball from, from here. And you're also a nonprofit organization, correct? Correct. We just got our 501c3 and we just got our first project approved and we're in the process of fundraising to make this project happen. Thank you so much for sharing your passion and for Project Elder Heart. I can't wait to see how it progresses and to be a part of it. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I would just like to thank you for your time and thank you for this video and uh, let, remind everybody that we need their help to make this happen. Thank you very much.